Hello and welcome to weekly worship from Alconbury Weald Church. My name is Reverend Rob Patterson and I shall be leading our time of worship together. Now if you'd like to begin your worship by listening to a song, then in the further information below the video picture there is Song 1 link and it's a link to a YouTube video. Uh, called, uh, the song is called Touch the Sky by Hillsong United. So if you'd like to uh, pause me and listen to that song to begin our time of worship together, that would be great. Welcome back. Uh, our theme. Uh, we're moving on from parables about fig trees uh, to parables about vines. So today's theme is the vine, the parable of the vine and the branches. And uh, from John 15, Verse 4, Jesus said, As the branch can't bear fruit by itself unless it remains in the vine, so neither can you, unless you remain in me. Let's light our candle. If you've got a candle, then do light it. It creates a good focal point. And uh, I'm lighting the church candle on behalf of all of us. Just take a moment to... Reflect on that verse about remaining or bearing the fruit, remaining in the vine. And just watch our candle burn. And let's pray. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful people and kindle in them the warmth of your love. Amen. Now we come to our first activity. Now you might need to pause uh, and just pop outside and see if you can find a, a twig, a dead twig or something like that. Um, if you haven't, don't worry, just a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil uh, you could do as well. So what you're going to do, uh, if you're popping outside to get a twig, then pause me and, and do that. Um, OK, so now this is what we're going to do is uh, with your twig, if you've got one, uh, I want you to just to break it and create a stick person. And it does remind me of that wonderful story, uh, Stick Man. Um, stick Man, Stick Man, Stick Man Beware. Yes, I love that story. Anyway, um, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, so basically, with your twig, uh, sort of break it and create a stick person. Just on the, on 2D, so flat on your, t on your table. Um, if you haven't got a stick, then maybe just uh, draw bits of stick to create your um, st uh, stick person. So basically draw a stick person, but just imagine that you only have short lengths of stick to create that stick person. Okay, so pause me and do that. Okay, so I hope your stick person is looking good and uh, you had a bit of fun doing that. Um, we're going to say sorry to God now. Uh, so our Lord Jesus said, love the Lord your God and love your neighbour as well as you do yourself. Now, sometimes we don't listen to God's nudges in life. Instead of allowing God to shape us, we do what we want to do. So just take a moment to reflect over the last week or so and think of times when it has been my will be done rather than thy will be done. That's God's will be done. So just take a moment to think over the last week or so when that might have been the case. Now let us lift up those reflections into God's forgiveness and commit to try to be more loving in our words and actions in the week ahead and to be more thy will be done in what we do. So repeat after me. We are sorry, God. We are sorry, God. Forgive us and renew us. Forgive us and renew us. May God our Father forgive you your trespasses and bring healing, reconciliation and peace to your life. Amen. We now come to our Bible reading. We worship with Christians near and far, old and young. God's word is for all of us. May it be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Amen. 
And our Bible reading is from John's Gospel, chapter 15, verses 1 to 8. Jesus said, I am the true vine, and my Father is the farmer. Every branch in me that doesn't bear fruit, he takes away. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are are already pruned clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Remain in me, and I in you. As the branch can't bear fruit by itself unless it remains in the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. He who remains in me and I in him bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. If a person doesn't remain in me, they are thrown out as a branch and is withered, and they gather them and throw them into the fire and they are burned. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, you will ask whatever you desire, and it will be done for you. In this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so you will be my disciples. So let's spend some time thinking about that reading or some more time because even stick man was actually thinking about or stick person was thinking about this reading so first of all um, hopefully if you're sat by a window uh, or maybe if you're listening to this outside on your phone um, just look around you find a tree or look at several trees and try and find the tree that you think or try and decide which of those trees you can see has the most branches. That's your first challenge. Just look around you and try and decide which of the trees you can see has the most branches. So pause me while you do that. Okay, so you've chosen your tree. Now another question. What kind of fruit will that tree have? What kind of fruit will that tree have? It it might not be fruit as in an apple it might be more as in a seed or like an acorn that kind of fruit okay so it's it's seed if you like what kind of fruit it's what kind of seed uh, will that tree have okay now imagine if 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 there aren't any loose branches around if there's not any branches on the floor around um, just imagine that you have a detached branch one that's fallen down it's no longer attached to the tree and then continue looking at that tree and those branches that you have counted so really this is the attached branch versus the not attached branch and this is the question for you which one will bear fruit That is, which one will have fruit hanging from it in the autumn? Hmm. And the follow-up question? Well, why not the detached branch? Can you think of a couple of reasons why the detached branch will not bear any fruit come autumn? Now, just want to share one thing with you, or one thing to note, is that there is an emphasis in this reading, and the emphasis is not on producing fruit, it is on bearing fruit. Something to think about when you think about that reading. It's not about producing fruit, it's about bearing the fruit. Let's affirm our faith, so repeat after me. We believe in God, 
We believe in God. We believe in Jesus. We believe in Jesus. We believe in the Holy Spirit. We believe in the Holy Spirit. We can live in a way that reminds people of God. We can live in a way that reminds people of God. Because we love each other. Because we love each other. Amen. Amen. Okay, back to stick person. Maybe you drew stick person or maybe you made stick person. But let's just look back at stick person. How did you shape that stick person? How did you shape that stick person? Imagine that you have physically made a stick person out of a twig or a branch. How did you shape that stick person? So you would have broken the branch up or the twig up to create the arms and the legs and the body and maybe even made a head as well. If you were drawing it, you'd have drawn just short bits as if they had been uh, broken. But also, you could almost imagine that breaking as pruning. So you had to kind of almost prune the branch or the twig to create stick person. And now in the reading it said, Every branch in me that doesn't bear fruit he takes away. Every branch that bears fruit he prunes that it may bear more fruit. You are already pruned clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. So that raised the question for me. What does Jesus mean pruned by saying pruned by the word? What does Jesus mean by saying pruned by the word? Now to help us uh, think about this a little, I have a challenge for you. So you're going to need a piece of paper now and a pen or a pencil. And this is my challenge challenge uh, to complete the following sentence or I could say begin the following sentence uh, but it's not just once I want you to try and do this um, five times so five different ways to complete this sentence uh, and the sentence is uh, is um, if you want to look in the further information I'll put it in there as well but basically the sentence is dot 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 by the word, full stop. So you need to put the beginning part in, dot, 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 by the word, full stop. I'm going to give you one, and then you can find some more. And I'm going for the easy one, pruned by the word. Okay, so I'm just putting one word in there to finish that sentence, but it could be more. But uh, see if you can think of other words or, or other uh, to help finish that sentence. So I've given you pruned by the word. What can you come up with? Can you come up with five more? So pause me and have a go at that. Okay, I wonder how you did uh, with that challenge. If you're on your own, that could have been quite a challenge to kind of think of it uh, in different ways. But we might have had um, shaped by the word. We might have had um, healed by the word. We might have had uh, grown by the word. Um, so th there's all sorts of ways you could have uh, completed that sentence and I'm pretty sure you'd have come up with some uh, really uh, good ways of thinking about it. Now there is one question that we haven't considered and that question is what is the fruit? In this reading what is the fruit that the branch bears? Now, in this case, uh, as you know, we're looking at this, the parables book by Paul Agudah. Uh, and in this case, Paul Agudah says that it appears that the fruit in this case is love. So love is the fruit when we look at this reading, this parable. So a question for you to ponder over the coming week. What allows love to flourish and grow in your life or in the life of others? What allows love to flourish and grow? Let's pray. So two prayers and then the Lord's Prayer. 
Loving God, we thank you for your teaching and our learning. Help us to wonder at Jesus' parables and what they teach us about living in the world today. Help us to remain connected to you, not just, not just on Sunday, but Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, so that we are more fruitful in love. Amen. Loving God, help us to understand the people we meet in our everyday lives. Give us compassion and grace to accept them for who they are. Help us as we interact with them to bear the fruit of love. Amen. And we say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Okay, we now come to our Charity of the Week, uh, and this week it was um, Christian Aid. Uh, particularly uh, with the children wanted that as they'd been um, walking with water at the school to raise money for Christian aid where they've been really sort of thinking about having to carry water uh, a really long distance uh, from its source to, to then get to home to be able to um, have water to drink and wash with so um, that was a real challenge that the children faced at the school uh, this last week so that's uh, a good thing to think about uh, and a good charity to raise money for so further information uh, link in the information below the video picture uh, and then also to say if you want to just have a bit of a feast today uh, would suggest a fruit salad uh, and a little bit of ice cream as a treat so why not just create a mini or small fruit salad a bit of ice cream in there and enjoy as you think about bearing fruit. Allow God to produce the fruit in you. We need to spend time with God so that we can bear fruit in our everyday life. So a blessing, uh, a prayer and a blessing and then uh, a song to finish with if you want to listen to a song and the song is again in the further information below the video picture, song link two. And this is a song by Francesca Battistelli called Holy Spirit. So let's pray. May Jesus, the light of the world, shine upon you, scattering the darkness from before your path, that you may be fruitful in all that you do. Amen. May God bless us all. May God bless us all. Amen. Thank you for joining me this week. And... Uh, We'll worship again together soon. Thank you and goodbye.